H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay. So what is actions class in Selenium? Actions class is a class which we use to perform actions like drag and drop operation or mouse hover operation when it has to be performed. That can be performed using actions class. Okay. So what is mouse hover? Mouse hover is just like when you place your pointer somewhere and a sub menu appears. Uh, let's just quickly see that. I'm going to open a website called as barnesandnoble.com. Uh, just a moment, let it open. Okay, so you can see here, if I keep my pointer over one of the web elements like notebooks or I keep my pointer over textbooks, a sub-menu appears. I'm not clicking anywhere, it is just simply placing your pointer over some link. So this is called as mouse hovering. I'm just hovering my mouse somewhere and immediately I'm able to see a sub-menu that is called as mouse over. So when you have to perform this kind of action, this can be performed using actions class. right? Or if you have to perform a drag and drop of action, you need to drag something and drop it somewhere, that can also be done using actions class. right? For, that, for those purposes we require actions class. Okay, so then there is a question here, what is the locator used for finding multiple look? elements, multiple web elements on the screen. This question is typically asked in places where they can ask you how will you find whether all the web elements on a web page are working or not. Right? So typically like here on this website which I showed you, Barnes & Noble, how will you create a test case where you have to identify whether all the links on this page are working or not. Okay? So for that we need this kind of control where you need to find out how many links are there on the page. Okay. How many links are there on the page? We have to cover that. We have to see that. Okay. So how do we do that? First of all, we find out how many links are there on the web page. How do we do that? Now, whatever links on the page are there on any web page, not only for barnesandnoble.com, you take any web page, be it Facebook, LinkedIn, any web page. All the links have something in common that is called as anchor tag. Okay, so let me show you using Fire, Firebug. Okay, so I'll use my Firebug to click on any of these links. So when I click on these links, you can see it is starting with A. A is called as anchor tag. Okay, so the very first word which you see after the angle bracket, that is called as anchor tag. So any link which you find on screen, on any web page, that is called as an anchor tag. Let me just show you here. Just take any link. Like here we have a find a store. You click on this find a store and you have anchor tag here. I'll show you on Facebook as well. On Facebook also you see there are a couple of links at the bottom of this screen. If I show you here, if I use my Firebug, when I click on this sign up, you see it starts with A, anchor tag. I click on this moments, it starts with A. Any link which you see on the screen, it is going to start with A. So that is called as anchor tag. So if I have to find out how many links are there on the web page, I'll use a, a locator that is called as tag name. So we will write driver.findElements by dot tag name A. Let me show you that. Uh, just a moment. Okay. So like here, just see line number 19, it is written driver.findElements by dot tag name A. So what does it do? It finds out all the web elements on the web page whose tag name is A. So indirectly what are we doing? We are finding out all the elements on this screen which are links. 
Okay, so since all the links start with anchor tag, indirectly we are finding all the links on the page. Okay, so if you have to find out multiple web elements on the screen, how do you do that? That is what this question is. So it is written, which is the locator used for finding multiple, sorry, it is not locators, it is web elements. Which is the locator used for finding multiple web elements? It is tag name. Using tag name locator, you can find out multiple web elements on the screen. Okay, 